started in 2008. It was myself and Luca D'Alfonso and Ashley Rogerson. Three of us were friends and we all had an interest in flea markets and we knew the space was up for rent. So we just thought it was a good opportunity to maybe set up a market. So November 2008, we had a couple of stalls, like there maybe like there was only 15, 20 stalls, the very first one. And um, it was here inside the co-op and that's how it all began. And it kind of went from there and it got bigger and bigger and uh, we're now in our eighth year. There's about, on average, 70 stalls that happen every month. We love allowing people in that haven't had a stall before. We like, you know, we like it being fresh and quite original. I deal in uh, clothing, bric-a-brac, um, and unusual pieces that I can find around the country. Everything here is all sort of to be recycled. So if I have it for, if you've found something for, from somebody that's been in use for 20 years, then with a little bit of touch-up and all the rest of it, it can go on for another 20 years instead of putting it into the skip or putting it into the landfill. I think that markets have a really, really significant um, place in society. Um, and I think that like what we have seen that we didn't really envisage at the very start is that Dublin Flea has acted as a bit of an incubator and a springboard for a lot of people that are setting up businesses. The reason I came here is because it's great uh, community that come together to make these markets happen. The people behind it are super friendly, super nice, and they don't charge too much. And they have a great footfall. The amount of people that come through the door here, and, you know, it's once a month, it's brilliant. It's almost impossible to make a name for yourself. You know, there are ways around it. Doing public things like flea markets like this really helps get your name out there. Everybody says it's like a real hipster market. And we're like, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. But um, I think that there's like a great, like it's quite varied. But then it's like people that are into, um, people that are into vintage and into secondhand. We try to uh, offer something that is more sustainable, more com community-based. There's definitely people who are more in shopping in Dundrum shopping centre that would never come here. It's good to have competition, you know, it's like we're a small group, it's not a business business as such. Um, it's more of a social, for me it's more of a social event, but it's just interaction and it's purely um, meeting people. Socially, that's it. You never know who you meet. Our business started in 2008 when it was the beginning of the recession, which was like low rent and re, a creative reuse of vacant space because planning permissions didn't go through and all the rest. And now we're back into that. Uh, rent's been hiked up and planning permissions going through. And the reason we set up the flea market was to increase secondhand market culture in the city. So when other markets um, set up after us, we were delighted. I think it's a fantastic idea for up and coming, new creative people who want to get their name out there. It's a great experience, it also gives you great feedback on how people are perceiving what you're producing as well. We feel like we've built up enough of a community um, with our traders and with our customers that we will be still going in three years time, hopefully still here, but you know, we're also quite fluid about what happens to us.